Hello friends, welcome back. Ever wondered how to build a real world app where users can browse the courses, take tests, earn certification and even access the reference video for preparation? In this short demo, I will show you how it all comes together from starting a test to achieving the final certification. So watch now and get inspired to create your own app while sharpening your skills. Alright, so come, let's dive in and take a look at the demo. Alright, so this video is part of the Smart Certify app. We were building the online certification platform. So in this series, we have already released until episode 11. And I wanted to give you a feel of what we are building so that you're excited to see and you know learn what is going to come up. So I've already built a solid application and I'm going to show you a demo of that application. So this is our application URL, smartcertify-web dot azure website dot net which means it is hosted in azure and it is currently free and uh, so when you land on this page this is the home page so what we are going to do is if we go to the courses it is going to show you a list of courses here so this is intern talking to azure api so this is intern talking to the uh, api that is hosted in azure is the first time as of this recording video that's why you see uh, it was taking few seconds for the application to boot up but now you will see how fast the application is going to be. So you can see these many different uh, courses under which we have many courses. So for example, if I select Angular, all of the Angular related things is going to show up here. So I've split into you know, small, small categories or small, small courses, for example, Angular service. So this one, this test is mainly meant for Angular services. All Angular service related stuff will come. Okay, so similarly Angular routes, modules, all of these things is this is going to help you to test your knowledge as well as it is going to help you if you are looking for some interviews. All right, so similarly, we can also choose Azure, we can choose .NET Core and if you want to filter the tests that are currently available, you can just click on this, it filters, right? So right now I'm not able to start because I've not logged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. And this uses Azure AD B2C. So all of these things that you're seeing now is going to be part of small, small videos and it will be covered in the series. And I've logged in. Let's go to course one more time. I'm going to choose this option so that only the test that is available is going to show here, right? So eventually I'll be adding a lot many testers in the, in the backend. But for now, at least for this demo, I have only these things. So let's say I wanted to start and test my knowledge. So entity framework code, I'm going to start the test and it's going to show you some agreement. All of these things are uh, realistically mimicking the real exam. So this is how Microsoft will present you. So you're going to choose, agree, and then it's going to tell you what you're going to write. You're going to write this exam and number of questions are 10, but actually I modified for this demo as five. And time is 15 minutes. We're not going to add any times and other stuff right now. But eventually we will make this as a, a real test with the time based exams. Now passing score is 70 and total mark is 100. Now let's start the test. Great. Now what you can see from here is this is in test mode. Okay, test mode means like not a real exam. But when I eventually complete this application as a real exam, you will not see this reference video and all of those things. It's going to be very strict. Okay. But this is for your testing and knowledge and uh, as part of the building the application. So what we are going to do here is see the, uh, the we choose .NET Core and .NET Core entity framework related questions are coming up here. You have five questions and right now nothing is answered. The first question is listed here. Options are listed here. And basically, if you noticed, uh, because you are taking EF core, all of .NET core and EF core related stuff only will be visible here. And all the videos that are showing here is from the same channel. So if you want to view something, you can click and view the videos for your reference. Okay. Now let's take a look. So let's let's pretend that this is a real test. Okay. So what is what are the different strategy for database initialization? In fact, for this question, almost everything is going to work out, but let's choose this and it's going to say answer and you're going to go to the next question. So how can you perform code operation using this? So let's say, you know, just to speed up this, I'm going to say this one. And I also say, I am not sure I'm going to mark this as review. So the moment I do this, it's going to show you an orange color, right? Orange, yellow. 
basically so what are the migrations in ef core and why they are used so migrations are actually used for the incremental changes so this is the right answer next how do you define a db context in ef core you have to inherit the db context for a given class so this is the right answer and the last one what is the entity what is entity framework core so the last one is what is entity framework core basically it is a orm orm means object relationship mapper okay so that's the right answer i'm going to say s it's in the last step okay so what we are going to do is we're going to say finish exam it's going to tell you that you have to give some feedback any feedback about how you like about this exam you want to do something different you are expecting something different any feedback is welcome i will eventually see this feedback so for now let's say user says all good for now let's user says all good okay i'm going to finish the exam or i can also go back and actually review the exam that what i did see i can go to previous state i can go to the next let's say i wanted to choose this okay i know this is wrong but let's choose this just for you know uh to feel how the exam is going to be so next everything is looking good i'm reviewing it i'm on the last step so all good i'm as a user i'm saying all good finish exam so it says congratulations i finished if i click here it's going to take you to the page which is under user exams and these many exams i have taken at least for demo purpose i took the last one but it will show you what and all test i took i took many angular services entry framework all of those things so i can go and check what is my score okay looks like i scored 100 everything is correct but if you are scoring something wrong it's going to show you like this so what is wrong what is right all of those things okay so let's i can resume so in case you found to exit the exam in between you can actually come here and resume the exam okay and the good part is all the relevant questions videos will start showing up here in future but for now based on the topic the videos will show and you can also go to videos and every single video of this channel is listed here okay so you can actually filter like i can say uh, just b2c only b2c videos will come i can also say graph api only graph api videos are going to come i can click this watch this and you know enhance myself so all of those things are there and this will be the um, short demo of how our application is going to be so i hope you enjoy this video and this is what we are going to build in upcoming each series so stay tuned we have lot many stuff to implement not just the demo part i myself have lot of other stuff to implement as part of the series we will bring up lot of azure services and other stuff so stay tuned and um, if you like this video let me know in the comment section if you want to do some improvement also do let me know in the comment section and share this with your friends don't forget to hit on the like button i will see you in the next video guys bye bye thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!